Let's watch this, bro. This is crazy. What's she doing? Biting her vagina? <laughs> She's just biting her pussy. My God. Oh, we're live right now. Okay. Let's see. Make sure this is working. Check one, check two. Am I live? I think so. If the yep, is we're boring, live. You know. Monetization is turned off for some reason. Um, now it's turned on. Now we're about to turn this on. What's up, guys? Uh, give me a second to set this up, and we're going to be rolling here. We have a, a large variety of nasty foods to eat. Uh, the nasty of which, the nastiest of which, to me, is this apparent fruit that looks like raw fish. Santoy. I'm not fucking with dried shiitake. This is disgusting. Yeah, Zilla's not looking forward to the shiitake mushroom. Show the cam. That's not it. That nasty, nasty sauce. It's like little dried up summer shits. I had a, uh, look at that ass thumbnail. <laughs> wow, that sucks, bro. It's just terrible. You didn't even try. It's better than the just banner thumbnail. Something is different. It's not letting me view my live stream. David Banner. That, was, that, was that the uh, update? Uh, was that the update that they hooked me up with? Check it out. We just had a little filly up in the apartment. That it was real, went real smoothly. Did it not? My first time hanging out with a, with a NPC, a non-prostitute character. Yeah, he, we finally, I was like, yo, bro, these prostitutes are cool, but you should try to get a real woman. And you know what he did? He had a fat bitch in here. <laughs> Don't say that. He had a big old fat bitch in here. You can't say that. That's and I illegal. was like, yo, bro, why is this fat bitch in my crib? She was nice. <laughs> Wasn't she? <laughs> she was a sweetie. I was like, who is this fat girl in the house? Stop. She could be watching us. She's very sweet. <laughs> she could be watching uh, it was weird because we she uh, planned on sleeping over. It's weird because she came over and said, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I need to go to 7 Eleven. Where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? <laughs> that was the first thing she Where's said. Where's the toilet? I need to go to 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven. Yeah. I was like, posted. She just said, 7 Eleven. <laughs> she 7 kept 11. saying it. <laughs> bitch. Um, no, she's very sweet. Uh, very nice girl. And if you're watching this, thanks for hanging. Sorry you didn't sleep over. You could have slept over. I don't think I was giving her the right energy. <laughs> I think she was, I don't know what she was expecting. I think maybe she thought we were going to have an intimate time. What do you think? I don't know what she thought coming over here looking like that. <laughs> you're going to need to, you're going to need to, like, do something with yourself. Before. It was, it was an explicit, uh, explicit plan to sleep over. Yeah, she said she was going to sleep over, and then nobody paid attention to her. And she was just like, you know what? I should just go home, right? But that's how you be doing Rainy. Rainy's cool, though. You're just chilling when Rainy's here. So we, it was pretty much just her watching me and you hang out yeah. and watch Muay Thai. You know, Rainy gives, gives shit to the conversation. Like, what? What? And then she'll what? poke you in the butthole and, <laughs> <laughs> and sniff at you. Do a little sniffed move. All right, I'm posting some things on my Instagram that we're going to get this bad boy running, you guys. We've got 41 folks in here. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys missed the show on the live chat, oh, we just got a $20 dono from Andrew Pleva. Nice job, Pleva. Thank you. Mr. Ple Pleva. Andrew. How's the audio, you guys? Are we looking good? W's for the dono without a doubt. Andrew Pleva for the win. You're a G. We're about to eat some gross stuff, so hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I just have to post my Patreon. I just dropped the Patreon cut. It's like two hours of just like a week of us, me and Zilla, going to Muay Thai stuff, uh, meeting cameraman John, hanging out with girls, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, one second here. Just dropped a two hour video. But let me know in the chat if the, uh, yeah, the audio is good, everything's crispy. Brandon, why you never respond to my comments? I'm sorry, Ken. It's my bad. Listen, Ken, you, if, if, you're, if you're still watching out there, man, it's my bad, all right? I care. Just know that. I, I care. But yeah, can you, go by, can you guys believe it's been two weeks since I dropped the video on YouTube? It's like surreal. I know I already said this in a live stream, but uh, I was advised by a, an intimate partner of mine, Mr. Scott. I'll just say that. I'll say Mr. Scott. 
um, that I shouldn't drop a video about me breaking Thailand quarantine because I might be arrested. And I shouldn't drop a video at all until I was out of quarantine. So that's what the delay's been. Do you guys do shin conditioning? And if so, from a scale of 1 to 10, how much does it hurt? Should I just show them my thigh? Is that a good answer to that question? But that's you, like, being bad at the sport and getting kicked. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> that's not like conditioning. My shins are pretty good. My shins are pretty strong. You kind of just got to keep kicking, honestly. Yeah, you kick the heavy bag of shit ton. You kick the pads of shit ton, kick the heavy bag of shit ton, you don't really need to do shin conditioning. Um, but what's not, uh, what's not tempered is my thigh. See that? <laughs> you guys see that on the cam? That's Switch kicks. Courtesy of uh, Zillikami and Bond Style. Bond Style hooked me up. There's this guy at our gym named Bond. Yeah, he hooked it up. Yeah, hook them legs up. Yeah, Bond's a beast. Should go watch it. It's a fun one. All right. Just dropped a tour. Video on Patreon. Watch it. It's a fun one. Sorry I'm taking so long, you guys. We're going to get into this ASAP. And thank you again, Andrew, for the dono. You're a real G. I really want to open this shit so bad. We got Push and P gave us a Canadian dollar. Oh, shit. A Canadian dollar. I've never seen one of those. Push and P, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. That never means a lot. Canada. What should we eat first, you guys? We have uh, corn stick by Bigga. I'll just let you decide if that's racist or not. <laughs> Leave that up to the viewers' discretion. Yeah, it looks kind of disgusting, but it also looks kind of, it could be good. Seaweed? So, we'll give two options. We can do corn stick, or we can do this stuff that looks like fish but apparently it's a fruit. And yeah, uh, if you guys have been in any of the other live streams, it's probably gonna turn off in 30 minutes. So we're on a tight, we're on a tight schedule here, just so you guys know. We gotta run through this ASAP. If the stream cuts inexplicably, it's because the GoPro overheated and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to bed because it's 2.20 in the morning. I'm live right now we eating. Have practice at seven. Gross food. I'll watch this. That's good enough. I'll post on my second channel as well. Do to do. I think it's looking like the fruit, looking like the wave. They're fucking with the fruit. Yeah, I think the fruit's looking like the wave. Let's do it. I'm psyched. Nothing can be worse than bugs. You know what I mean? I don't think so. I think there's shit that's worse than bugs that we have right now. That dried shiitake looks fucking disgusting. Yeah, the, the shiitake's gonna be foul. This is probably gonna be good, I'm not gonna lie. I think the bear is very inviting. All right. Oh, fuck. Everything's posted. Oh, fuck. So that is... It does not smell good either. Some kind of horrible fruit. Yeah. We get a whiff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not it. Whoa. That is foreign. Whoa. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know. Dog. Um, so we got. That instantly made my brow sweat. <laughs> yeah. So we got the. Smells different. Whoa. And we got these sauces. I'm going to put the sauces on it. Yo. I'm not feeling it. We're going to toss this dick shit around. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. to toss this dick around. <laughs> Hold up. Toss this dick fruit. No, that, that did smell crazy. It made me like get antsy. That was like next gen, what am I about to eat? Um, okay, I'm about to just toss it in this motherfucker. All right, we're live. Oh, we got the folks in here. We're about to hit 90 viewers. And I'm missing donations. You guys, I'm sorry. Let me tune in really quick. Um, did we get another? Andrew Plava with another $20 donation. Forgot to type something, so eat one right now. Andrew Plava, shout out to you. You're a beast. We're going to eat this nasty, nasty fruit. I'm getting, I'm getting in on it. Oh, man, I don't even want to. I really don't. It, that, that smell made me, like, curl a little bit. Oh. That's horrible. All right. Me guppy. Shout out Mickey Block in the chat. And... The Buckingham Show, why the long face? I just have a long face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. 
<laughs> what do you want me that to was, do? That was mean. You just taking shots? Favorite MF Doom song? Probably Gas Straws or Doomsday. Um, wow, bro. Doomsday is... I swear I'm black donated $5 and said... Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck, bro. That Why are we even doing this? That smell is crazy. Why are we even doing this? I don't want to eat that. Uh, I swear I'm black donated $5 and said hetero twink in the house. We're hetero twinking it all day, all night. Well, I can't really speak for Zill. I said we're. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's, <laughs> that's for, them, that's for them, them folk. <laughs> that's a little different. I'll say I'm hetero twinking it. Smell that shit. Smell that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it just smells bad shit. Yeah, the sauce Yo. made it smell so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say what that smells like. It doesn't smell like anything. I've, I've never, never smelled, smelled this. that. Yeah. All right, let's get some more of this on. Nah. You're just masking just foulness with some kind of weird spice. <laughs> masking foulness with foulness. Ugh. Casey... Casey J. Bomber Anthony. for the win donated twenty dollars and said, "Bro, go get jet skis and recreate picking up on, picking up on grannies with lady boys." What? He wants us to go get jet skis and pick up lady boys. Pick up grannies with lady boys. I did a video called "Picking Up Grandmas on Jet Skis." With lady, oh okay, but with lady boys, nah, yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, Brandon might do it. No, 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 absolutely not. Bro, um, hey, John is in the chat. Why is John in the ch John, go to fucking bed. John, you could be hanging out with us. John just You could have been here. John just typed gay. Yeah, well, this, uh... Don't even get us started on you, John. Oh. You're number one. Um, Non-consensual snuggles donated $10 and said, All the ice cold rice at PCmemes.net. Yes, check out PCmemes.net. I hope that's not some kind of weird virus thing. I've never heard of that site before, but thank you for the ten dollars. Thanks for everyone that's donating. Thanks for everyone that's here. We're having a good old time in Thailand, eating uh, poison fruit. All right, let's get it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bro. I don't even think Thai people eat that. I don't think Thai people eat that. That was the hardest thing ever. This oh. Yo, bro. Yo, give me a second. All right, or well, I sit for that one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm eating another one of those. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not eating another one of those. <laughs> that made me feel crazy. <laughs> the fuck was that taste? I give the Santol a one out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> That's a one out of ten. That was a one out of ten. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully that's as bad as it gets, because that is insane. That made me feel uncomfortable <laughs> with my pants. <coughs> Bro, I'm full on dripping sweat right now. That was disgusting. It was like, I thought it was going to have a crunch to it. It was like just wet. And squirted a little bit in my <laughs> mouth. And it was like sour and sweet at the same time and not spicy. Ooh, I need something to drink. Nah, bro. Nah, bro, we can't do that. We got to you know, gotta drink some sponsor. But moving on to, uh, what was the other option? It was this. Nah, bro. I'm being gangster right now. You're going to G it out? This is probably good. G unit. I'm pretty sure this one's good, so I'm not even going to do that. <sighs> Sponsor, if you guys don't know what this is, I wish they actually sponsored me. It's like Thai Gatorade, but just way better. There's also Thai Gatorade here. It's just Thai Gatorade. It's just Gatorade in Thailand? Well, what is this? Just... Electrolyte drink. Bunch of, they have a shit ton of electrolyte drink. I don't know. Sorry, chat. I'm neglecting. <coughs> okay. That was really hard to eat. It made, it made like my whole body like shiver. Yeah. I don't recommend whatever the hell that was. John, John H. said, All I got, I really hope this goes towards another hammy sandwich, except you're actually able to get a shot off this time. No, bro. He got no more hammy sandwiches. I think I have a problem. Yeah. He needs to stop. <coughs> Everybody else chilling with real women. He's over here being disgusting. 
Well, it's big a time. I don't know when you guys will see this video, but we went to somewhere and uh, I pretty much had a, I had a foursome with three uh, masseuses. It was it was crazy, bro. And I took. <gasps> is it bad? <laughs> is it bad? Why? Why are we doing this? Smell it. it. Bigger. It smells disgusting. And why does it look like a dick? It's just like a little green turd dick. No, but I took the stuff. Called... Yo, this is probably this tastes like. I mean, I said this tastes like. This looks like dog food. I mean, it smells like dog food. It could be dog food. Yeah, are we sure it's human food? I have no clue. We just got a bunch of stuff from the 7-Eleven. Some of this literally could be cat food, dog food. <laughs> Nobody knows. Yeah. No, this doesn't smell like a human should eat it. Yeah. I'm gonna try it though. It's not bad. It tastes like cereal. It's not bad at all. It tastes like uh, Captain Crunch Berries. I'm actually fucking with it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 This was four baht. I don't know if you can see that. That just shows you how cheap stuff is in Thailand. This is like a penny. <laughs> it's like one penny. <laughs> like a couple of cents. <laughs> well, this is gas. Yeah, I'm fucking with this. A little bit of seaweed flavor, but... Mm -hmm. that. It's good. Oh. Um, I'm giving bigger like a... Give like a seven. Yeah, I'll give the bigger corn stick a six out of ten. How about that? Bigger corn stick, you're all right. In my book. I just wish you didn't taste like seaweed. I'd never eat it again, but it's fire. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't buy this again, even mm. though it was a, a penny. Goes to show you something. Um, that motherfucking crunch. Have you tried durian? I don't know what that is. The durian fruit, it's like a spiky hands. ass fruit. It's good. It's okay. Living large in Thailand. Mainstream media is BS most of the time, especially politics. Try not to pay attention to it all, okay, man? It's not good for your mental health. I'll pray for you. Wait, where's that coming from? Wait, wait, what? Well, it makes you think we're watching mainstream yeah. media. <laughs> Talking about durian fruit and shit? And then... I don't think I've uh, watched like mainstream media in just months and months. Should I purchase Brandon's Patreon? Are you asking me? Because my answer is obviously yes. But... I don't know, ask the patrons. The new Patreon cut is good, I'll tell you that. Well, that, that girl who was here said to try this. And super spicy tamarind. So, I'm gonna try one. It looks like a, I don't even know what the fuck to explain this. It looks like some, some bullshit. Tamarind. Can I smell it? That's, that smells like it's gonna be hell. It doesn't smell bad. Really? Looks like an almond. It's almost raisin-like. It's good. It's a little salty. It's not good at all. You like that? No, it randomly got sour. I was eating and then it randomly got sour and now my eyes twitching. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you like to eat? <laughs> I was, I'm like, oh, this is good. And then it's just like straight sourness. This isn't even spicy. Why does everything in Thailand say it's spicy? <clears throat> yeah, that's gross as hell, honestly. Let me, give, me, give me one more. Maybe I just got a weird piece. It looks like a, a nut, but it's like a raisin or a dried prune or something. Mm. Covered in uh, what, salt or sugar? I, I, would, I would eat some of these sometimes. It's covered in salt, right? I think it's salt. This is the, just the weirdest flavors. It's not that bad. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Not fucking with it. We're definitely giving this to John. John would fuck with this mm -hmm. heavy. So anything we don't eat, we gonna donate to John because John can't afford food right now. <laughs> That's just not even funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's just too real. Shout out John. If you guys aren't subscribed to Blazing Mangoes, <laughs> go watch my man walk around for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at this dude giving me a hard definitely time. definitely next. You said Thursday. It's Friday. I know, dude. Okay? Cut me some slack. Look at these balls. We're both cranking some balls. We're supposed to heat these balls. Pause. Up. No, ain't no pause. We're cranking these balls. <laughs> You're going to power through the pause? Hold on, you didn't give a tamarind rating. I give the tamarind a 3 out of 10. I give it a 1 out of 10. I'm never eating that again. <laughs> 
If I'm like, never eating it again, like at all, like if someone offers it to me, I'm not eating it, it's a one out of ten, I feel like. But it's at least better than... I got about a five. It's better than whatever the fuck that thing is. You seem to like it more than I did. I definitely don't like it. I don't know, bro. Eat these balls. Three out of ten, two out of ten. Bro, so shut, these... Shut up, eat these balls. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, eat these balls. <laughs> so these uh, could be raw. What is this? Hold on. Let's get it. Is this... It smells uh, like chicken. It was balls. Grilled meatballs. Okay. Shouldn't they tell us what kind of meat? Nah, bro. This is just meat, bro. You don't understand. You don't understand. Shut up, eat these cooked? balls. We know it's cooked. It could be raw. <laughs> you look at it. You like the balls. <laughs> I just see it. It's cooked. Mm. It's cooked. Man, that thing, I feel like this gave me a cavity. I feel like the tamarind gave me a cavity. It's cooked. It's cooked? Just a scapegoat. These are good. Oh, yeah. These are fire. This is the first nine. Yeah, I would unironically eat this. Well, I just ate this today. Didn't I? Yeah, you're a piece of shit. The strange balls I was eating earlier? I don't think those are the same as these, bro. Oh, come on, man. Um... Can you and Zilla say what's up to my boy Jacob? Uh, what's up, Jacob? What up, Jacob? From Jeremy Moore. What's you up, happy? Jacob? Are you happy? Jacob. Is that good for you, Jeremy? Jacoby. Is that good enough for you? What else should we do? A little dance? Honestly, he's a fire. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Uh, Pause. Joe Savon said Brandon got crazy throat game. I can tell. Why would you say that? <laughs> Just genuinely concerned. Like, why would you say that to me? Why would you say that to me? I don't want to film. Brandon, continue the foursome story. Oh, yeah, so we went into this place. Was it Lad Prow? It's the same shit as the Tamarind. Huh? Was it Lad Prow we were at? Uh, yeah. We were at Lucky Bar. Is that Lad Prow? Lucky mm. Bar's where every Tuk Tuk driver tries to take you. Lucky Bar. Lucky Bar. Oh, I know a bar. It's like, yeah, it's the Lucky Bar, dude. I know. There's and some we, fucking... We finally went to Lucky Bar. There's a big butch pimp in there that is going to bother you. Am I wrong about that? Yeah, she bothers the shit out of everybody. She's like, bye. Bro, you literally will buy four drinks, and she won't leave you. She'll just sit there and bother you. Unless you play pool. Apparently, like, the pool is, like, the safe zone. Yeah. Um, so we went to Lucky Bar. Ugh. I had already taken big, if you guys aren't hip to big penis, I took big There's penis. Big penis on the table. And also something called Camagra. Our, our uh, Muay Thai teammate Yelt said he used to sell Camagra back in wherever the fuck Yelt's from. Belgium? Yeah, he's Belgian. Give a guy a heart attack and he died. Not Yelt's fault though. It's all speculative. <laughs> <laughs> so Yelt, I took. Yelt killed a man. Yeah. I took Camagra and I took a little bit of uh, big penis. And then. I took three girls back to the crib and wore them out. <laughs> Literally. I didn't even get a shot in, again. No shots. I couldn't do my, it was like my, my wiener was so hard it hurt. It was like shocking. And they, they uh, yeah, they, they had had enough. I think enough. that's dangerous. I think big penis is dangerous. <laughs> I think it's gonna give you a fucking heart attack. The girls walked out, what did they say? Superman. <laughs> yeah, I think it's dangerous because to perform that well, yeah. There needs to be something going on here. They could tell I was on performance. Because yeah. they just kept saying, Superman! <laughs> and they wanted to go home. Yeah. <laughs> they were ready to go home. They're like, Superman, but I, I kind of just want to leave. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sitting there hard still as a rock. <clears throat> so as I'm eating these meatballs, I got to say, the tamarind is fucking really gross. Because yeah. it's still in my mouth. Yeah. Even, even past the balls. What? So I'm gonna give the tamarind a one out of ten. I'm gonna revise that. The tamarind is one out of ten. It's disgusting. The meatballs. I mean, for me, that's gotta be damn near eight out of ten, nine out of ten. Honestly, if I cooked them, it might have been a ten. With a little bit more flavoring. If I cooked them, that would have been fire. I'm gonna legitimately put them in the fridge to eat later. Yeah, those are gas. On the kebab sticks. Yeah. Put them in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up in uh, practice. I am not looking forward to going to practice in the morning. At all. He said y'all eat fermented dog brain. Who said that? Demented dog brain? He said fermented. <laughs> Demented dog brain. Is that what we ate? Oh, Zilla, tell me about the dogs in Thailand. Oh, yeah. So you know how dogs are really cool back home. They, like, do cool shit. They jump around. 
Well, every dog in Thailand is about to have a heat stroke. So it just lays on the floor and it's not cool. Like you, if you touch it, it might bite you. So nobody likes dogs in Thailand. Like they're not cool, which is very sad to hear. Like, the, yeah, it's a dog is like a pitiful animal in Thailand. But you know, usually if a dog's angry, it'll snarl at you. These dogs are like dead on the ground and they're like, can I touch it? Like, no, he bites, he's vicious and he just. <laughs> yeah, he's not moving, he's not responsive. It looks like he's like really needs help. <laughs> it's 95 degrees every day. <laughs> I bought a kebab for one, and the dude's like, don't give him that kebab. <laughs> he will bite you. And he's like just sitting there unresponsive. <laughs> I'm like, yo, yeah, dog, eat this kebab. He's literally sitting there unresponsive. The dude's like, do not touch him. You wouldn't believe these dogs if you saw them. It looks like every dog just got out of rehab. Yeah. The dogs look homeless out here. <laughs> no, only reason we figured it out is because we were making a robe at Boone, and the dude's like, yo. Do not put a dog on it because they're not cool here. Like, dogs are whack. I'm like, dogs are whack? He's like, yeah, have you seen the dogs? And it made me think, like, damn, the dogs are bums here. Like, they're literally homeless dudes. It's really bad. Yeah. I've never seen such pitiful dogs. And I love dogs. Also, the guy at Boone told us that it was nice to call women rats. And that has since been debunked. That is not a <laughs> <laughs> We've tried to, we've, we've gotten in trouble multiple times. Apparently, I, I, was it a lat? A lat means bitch. Yeah, so we're, we're teetering on that line. So us calling girls rats doesn't seem conducive to our relationship with them. Well, check out my robe, you guys. This is my... Uh, yeah, that shit sucks. Let me whip it on right quick. This is my Muay Thai fight robe that you guys get to watch me put on before I go get knocked out. It has cold-ass riding right there. It has Banana Man right there. And, you know, I got to have shots. Right there on the bottom. How about that? Hashtag shots. Uh, uh. Hashtag nutsack. They kind of bastardized my logo, but I'll give them a pass. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pass this time, Boone. You're lucky I want another robe. Yeah, I got to post on my story because they gave it to me for free. All right, what's next here? I don't know. Should we crank a drink? Yeah, what are these? To why? I don't know. Gold white malt. Yeah. This might, this could be baby food. Nobody knows. This could be baby drink. Hopefully it's not like something you put in other drinks. Like, I hope it is. I hope it is. Hold on. Sterilized milk product, low fat with malt extract. Okay. So it seems like we're not supposed to be drinking this. But it's too late. Already said I was going to drink it. It might just be really good. Yeah, there was a lady on it who looked like she just had a baby holding a baby on the case. So it seems like this is for babies. Sterilized milk. Is it awesome? It's actually pretty good. It tastes like milk from cereal. You know like when you drink the cereal milk? This tastes like fucking Similac, dude. This tastes like baby food. I think this is what it is. I think I bought baby food. Yeah. Did you get it for the baby section? Yeah. <laughs> There's like a lady holding babies I'm like this. The drink looks like we could, we should like do it. I never drink Similac though. Yeah, don't ask me why I've drank Similac. Well, I'll tell you, I, <laughs> I thought that <laughs> I thought that like babies needed a lot of nutrients to be strong. So I, when I was wrestling in college, like my freshman year, I bought like eighty dollars of Similac and drank it one time and was like, nope, this is <laughs> not it. There's no way. This shit tastes like water, like watered down. There's a reason that uh, bodybuilders don't drink Similac. Why don't you just nestle on a, on a bosom if you're a bodybuilder? I don't know. Girls are letting me suck the milk out of their teats. Hey, yeah, they would. You think so? I think you could find like one. Not in high school wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Your high school wrestling, like, please. I'm not I like need, that. I need some. I'm going to give the baby food, uh, I'll give